Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm doing the top 20 best male metal vocalists of all time, and I'm starting at number 20. I'm gonna work my way towards number one, and definitely stick around, because I've got some incredible honorable mentions coming up after number one. Now, it was a little difficult to decide which camp to put whom in, and let me explain this. Um, I just did the top 20 best male rock vocalists of all time, and so I tried to really separate these out in a very fair, concise way. Uh, rock vocalists that were known for rock before 80s metal and 90s metal and whatnot, I tried to keep them in their own camp as more, you know, Brian Adams was certainly more of a rock vocalist, certainly wasn't a metal vocalist in that sense, whereas a Bon Jovi that came up through the 80s metal thing was kind of more of a metal vocalist. So I tried to separate those out. So there's a couple cross pollination, you know, one guy, it's a David Coverdale that was popular in Deep Purple, certainly would fit the metal category. So I tried to really be careful about what, you know, not overdoing and doubling up on these things as I go along. So now I also have a singing course, and the course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at kentamplinvocalacademy.com, where we negotiate all of these different styles and techniques and whatnot uh, that made these singers great in hopes to help make you great. So starting at number 20, uh, and again, a lot of this was done by a popular poll. So we polled a lot of the people that you know gave us who they wanted, whoever surfaced the highest is what made it way towards number one. But uh, is definitely um, Kip Winger. And so Kip comes in at number 20, and Kip is just an amazing, talented guy. Great bass player, good guitar player, great singer, high range, great energy, great performer, had a fantastic band, good composer, uh, and just an all around phenomenal guy. So it, he's one of those guys too that sort of slipped through the cracks and didn't make it to quite the same icon status as an Axl Rose or a Bon Jovi or whomever. But he's certainly a, a force to be reckoned with. So we're gonna start with Kip. Let's check out Kip Winger and let's move on towards from 20 towards number one here we go All right, next up is Jeff Tate from Queensryche. Now we all know Jeff is that amazing high range singer uh, from Queensryche and uh, maybe one of the greatest progressive metal rock albums of all time being Operation Mindcrime. So let's check out Jeff. Next up is James Hetfield from Metallica. Now before I talk about James, I got a lot of flack from guys saying, oh, you're not gonna put James you know, in the top 20, you know, he's not one of the greatest top metal singers. Well, this is actually done not just because of their ability to sing. Uh, we in fact put Lemmy Kilmeister as number 20 uh, in the rock, best rock male vocalist of all time. Uh, this has to do with the amount of influence they've had as a band, how long they've lasted, and the influence that they've had in general, uh, as well as their stage performance performances, their songwriting, the guitar playing, and, and everything that goes in that. So uh, I think James Hetfield definitely deserves to be in the top 20, and we're going to see why. Next up is Jeff Keith from Tesla. Now Jeff had one of those really unique, distorted, naturally distorted voices, kind of like Rod Stewart or some people even say Axl Rose, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, definitely great soulful, unique, distorted sound. Great melody songwriting, they did some great ballads, they did a lot of great rock stuff. Just an all around great rock band and just a great rock vocal. Uh, let's check out Jeff. Next up is another really great naturally distorted sounding vocalist, which is Tom Kiefer from Cinderella. Now Cinderella had a really unique sound because they, in some sense, had kind of an ACDC vibe on the one hand with their great ballad songwriting on the other, and just a quintessential example of a great 80s metal band. Here's Tom. Okay, next up is David Lee Roth from Van Halen. Now, I took a little guff for some people and they said, hey, you can't put him in the top 20. He's not one of the greatest metal singers of all time. 
Yes, I can. <laughs> David had a very unique character voice. I mean, he was just a wild, crazy dude, really funny, a phenomenal front man. And come on, like, you know, California Girls, Just a Gigolo, High for Teacher. You know, there's so many great Van Halen songs, Jump, right? Uh, that you look at and go, you know, he had his very unique sound and he certainly fronted uh, the top of the front of the heap in the pack uh, for 80s metal, quintessential example of great 80s metal singing. So with that said, let's hear from David. Now here's one I'm proud to put in the top 20, and that's Ray Gillen from Badlands. Left us way too early. Just an incredible singer. Uh, you guys know from Badlands, but he also had a brief stint with um, Black Sabbath. And uh, I actually did Dreams in the Dark myself. I'll put that in the description. You can see how well I did uh, stacked up next to that. But uh, Ray was just a phenomenally talented singer and definitely very influential for the very short period that we got to enjoy him. So here's Ray Gillen. Wiggling his way into the top 20 is Sebastian Bach from Skid Row. Now we know of Sebastian not just because of his cute factor, but also just his incredibly high range and powerful stamina vocals. So uh, he's definitely very influential and has certainly etched his way into the top 20. So let's check out Sebastian Bach. Cruising in is John Bon Jovi. Now, what a better example of 80s metal than John Bon Jovi, right? Um, I actually did quite a few John Bon Jovi or Bon Jovi songs. I'll put those in the description. You can see how I did. But I'll tell you what, man, Living on a Prayer and some of the other songs that he's got out, pretty tough tunes to sing. So uh, let's check out John Bon Jovi. And of course, we can't forget Joe Elliott from Def Leppard, another incredible 80s metal band. Now, uh, Joe also has some very difficult stuff to sing. I actually did a version of Photograph. I'll put that in the description. But uh, just a great band, phenomenal production, uh, and just a great live performance all around. So here we have Joe Elliott. Next up is Michael Matichevic from Steelheart. Now this dude is probably one of the greatest high range metal vocalists of all time, straight up. I mean, every time I've seen that guy live or on TV or whatever, just spot on vocals, just power, range, pitch, control, tone. The guy had, and handsome, the guy had it all, man, just crazy. Um, I did a version of She's Gone, I'll put that in the description, and my student Katie did a version of Never Let You Go, I'll put that in the description also. Tell us how we did. Um, but the other thing too about him is he also did the movie, or was one of the voices in the movie Rockstar, and that was also a great soundtrack. So let's check out Michael. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> what would a top 20 countdown be without Ozzy Osbourne? Of course, he's Ozzy, right? Uh, now we all know him way back in the day from Black Sabbath. We know him from Ozzy. We know of his uh, biting bats heads off. Uh, we know of Ozfest. And just a crazy, crazy maniac madman surrounds himself with some of the world's greatest players, great songwriting, great melody, just fits right smack dab square in the middle of the perfect example of 80s metal. Now, I did a version of Crazy Train myself. I'll put that in the description as well. And uh, let's just check out Ozzy. It doesn't get much more metal than Rob Halford of Judas Priest breaking the law. <laughs> anyway, yes, Mr. Screaming Mimi Rob Halford is just the quintessential example of awesome 80s metal. Now, I've done some Priest myself. I'll put that in the description for you to check out. And let's all check out Mr. Rob Halford.
Next in is Klaus Mine from the Scorpions. Now I know I included Klaus on the best rock male vocalist of all time, and now he's in the best rock metal male vocalist of all time, but it was kind of weird because he straddles both, you know, genres. I mean, Scorpions started out, you know, him being more of a rock singer in the Scorpions pre kind of 80s metal, of course, and then was really came to fame, I'd say their big fame happened through the 80s of 80s metal, so I kind of had to put him in here too. I tried not to double up on guys that much, but we just had to with Klaus. So here we have Klaus Mine. When one thinks of some of the most popular 80s metal bands, you can't possibly go through that list and not think of Guns N' Roses and Axl Rose. Axel had one of the most powerful, high range, kind of buzzsaw sounding vocals in all of 80s metal. And certainly some great songwriting and some very energetic performances. Uh, I myself did um, November Rain, I'll put that in the description. Uh, I also did Paradise City. And my student Gabriella did uh, Welcome to the Jungle, and I'll put all that in the description so you can see how we did. But we've got to check out Axel Rose. <laughs> Next beastly vocals up to bat is Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden. Now this is a little bit of a tough one because did I put, should I put him in the rock category? Should I put him in the metal category? Maybe both. I felt that he was a little bit more on the metal side than in the rock side itself. So he definitely is way at the top of the heap of the metal category. So Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden, here we go. Now next up is a combo. I went ahead and put Brian Johnson and Bon Scott together in 80s metal, but I'd also included them in the best rock male vocalist of all time because they've straddled both fences if you ask me. So I'm going to put both of them back to back because there's no way you can do 80s metal without including the whole package of ACDC. So let's check out Bon Scott and Brian Johnson back to back. She was a fast machine, she kept the motor clean Was the best damn woman that I ever seen I can not get sleepy Taking everything in my shot Moving forward, we have David Coverdale from Whitesnake now yes, I included David as one of the best male rock vocalists of all time, but I'm also including him as one of the best male metal vocalists of all time. He certainly has spanned across both categories in my opinion. And uh, you can't really list metal male vocalists without listing Still of the Night, Here I Go Again, Is This Love. Now I've covered a couple of these, I'm going to put these in the description, you can see how I did. But definitely David Coverdale deserves to be in the top 20 and then even in the top 5. Here's David. Coming in at number two is Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Yes, I include Steven also in my best male rock vocalist, but it'd be pretty tough to not include him in the metal era as well with his flamboyance and his metal clothing and all of the metal songs that came through Aerosmith through the 80s. So here we have Steven Tyler. The moment we've all been waiting for. But before I tell you who comes in at number one, I wanna mention a few things. Please stick around for some honorable mentions. If your person didn't get mentioned, they're probably in the honorable mentions, so check that out. I'm gonna be doing a series on modern rock vocalists, postmodern rock vocalists, metal and grunge, and some other things, scream. So those will have their own categories, so stay tuned for those as well. I also have a singing course, it's called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, where we negotiate how all these guys caught to their greatness and hopes to help give you some ability to get great at singing as well. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com and coming in at number one is none other than Ronnie James Dio. Deservedly the greatest metal rock vocalist of all time in a poll opinion and in my opinion. So stick around for some honorable mentions after this and let's hear from Ronnie.